You felt it, yes? Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but vast oceans. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location.
You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Cellcath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many... Many ways to fulfill your wish. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. No, really, I should apologize. I, I should try to control myself, as you Jedi do. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Yeah, the Selkath want to maintain their neutrality in this war we're fighting with the Sith, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions, and that could lose us the war altogether. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? A star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um, it's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders, and as a base of operations to export Colto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides. So, well, but I think they're underestimating the... Is there an... Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi.
Yeah, I can't talk now. I've got to get this cult all loaded up before my shift is over. Karth! Karth Onassi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban, though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you, are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's, um, he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now.
Time to listen to your stories. I've got a full shipment of Kalto ready to load before my shift is over. We've got all the proper Kalto training permits, so back off! Chichopa, Kimba Muli Rabwanaji, Chiskanichu. 
Kuyami Juski Chika Nai Tong Patoga Smak Tilia Abi Yubong Kuki Punk Pa Tongi Duama Ji Human Ak Un Inka Tune Hako Chichopa Kimba Muli Rab Duana Ji Chiska Nichu Con muli slimo poi wanga kun biskin. Tumirana nu prata donko sercha doman toma. Kaba vorpa murji guma ya. Ya tuka ulwan. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. Tong patoga smak tilia. Hako chichopa. Kimba muli rab wana ji. Jiska nichu. Oska! Jiska nichu. Slimo poi wanga kun biskin. Tumi. Hava! Uba baska duana ch.
I know that you're a friend of Jolie Bindo, and that Jolie has returned to the sector. Please, I must speak to him. It's very urgent. My name is Elora. My husband, Sunri, and Jolie are old friends. Now Sunri needs Jolie's help. Please, I beg you to bring Jolie to speak to me about my husband. Sunri's life depends on it. Have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war on. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now excuse me, I have to continue my recruitments. Yes, 
Storm. So I can bring Steel across the Storm of Death. I'm uncomfortable with spying on the Republic, but if, if we could assure the Cellcath that they mean no harm, then perhaps it might be worth it. Bring Steel across the Storm of Death. I hope you're here to play some Pazak. I don't come here looking for sparkling conversation. I prefer to make my credits gambling, but I never turn my back on an opportunity. Maybe this can be a profitable exchange for both of us. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you ask the Mercs? Better yet, go down to the Embassy and ask the Republic. You don't waste my time now, or you got some more questions. They don't bother me, and I don't bother them. Works all around. You don't waste my time now, or you got some more questions. They don't bother me. You don't... So clear out already. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. The Achani believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor, and the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed. But I am Iridorian. Honor comes from slaying your opponent, and the true reward of any job is the taste of your foe's dying blood on your tongue. Ask whatever you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful. Perhaps you should ask them. The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind, though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? Manan has no such things, unless the Selkath have them hidden away at the bottom of the ocean. Is there more you would know? Yes, I'm not surprised. There are few on this watery world who feel comfortable in my presence. Yeah. <laughs> 
We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. You're new around here, aren't you? My name's Duan. Care to buy a Sith girl a drink? That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. Are you some kind of historian or something? You should forget about the past, look towards the future. That's why I joined the Sith. The Republic is old news. And then I get stuck on Manan, the worst post in the galaxy. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Malak should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Colto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. But I don't really want to talk about that. Oh, I get it. I get a little bit wild, and you want to hold it against me. Come on, what's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. Hey, man. Clear out. You're cramping my style with the ladies. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight.
I'm sick of hearing about Manon's neutrality. It sounds like a coward's excuse not to fight, if you ask me. One day soon, the Selkath will pay for the indignities they have inflicted on the Sith! Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds, now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Kakin cha na wabagaon. Itcha ge bolang turang. Nada chawa ishun kun. No ba muli ra tila kuka. Kang nibo ra kang chitsa. Chiskot. Chiwi Aita ka chong chicha Agi inko tune chuna muli ra Tongi wama chiko na Tong kipa nongku nek abog Tong hit wama agi inko tune O tong hi wama ji agi inko tun Tong pa no kun no nek Chiwi Aita ka chong chicha Ki muli ra kun king King ba no kun nek yota Jiska dosoki, kopa bono nakachu, labora na winki smak toma, kuyami jusku chika nai, uchua penki, kopa na oto bokasa, yuba bato kanchi, ya tuka ulan. Kakin cha na wabagaon, picha ge borang turang, nada chawa yishun kun, no ba muri ra tilai kunka, kang nibo ra tong chitsa. Česko jo hava kava no pi do runa.
at chua pengti yun pati sa di chua jikot ka naga kinbu mua muli raduana kinba ni chalora kun chiwi aita ka chong chicha agi inko tune chua muli ra tangi wama jikona tong kipa nongku nek abog Chiwa ka aita kang kicha na chupornibo kun muli ra slimo poi wanga tong hitwama ji human ak in ikatune tong hitwama ak in kotune por tong hitwama ji ak in kotune tong palo kun nonek chiwi aita ka chong chicha ki muli ra kun kin in palo kun nik dorcha Chiwi aita ka chong chicha Agi inko tune chuna muli ra Tangi wama jiko na Tong kipa nongku nek abog Jiska dosoki kopa bono na kachu Labora na winki smak toma Kuyami jusku chita nai Uchua penki Topa na oto vokasa Yuba bato kongchi Na tuka ulan Tong hit wama agi inko tune Potong hiwa maji aki ikotun Tong pano kun nonek Chiwi aita ka chong chicha Ki muli ra kun kin Kin pano kun nik dorcha Chiwa e aita kang kicha na chupor nipo Kun muli ra slimo poi wanga Tong hitu mama ji Yuman ak in ikatune Topa na oto bukasa Pampa ki muli ra kun kin Chang waba chin yo Shang wi chama u cha Wish u yong kun How much for all this stuff, Tyvark? Chiwi aita ka chong chicha Agi inko tune chuna muli ra Tangi wama jiko na Tong kipa nongku nek abog Thanks, Tyvark. Catch you next week. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha Agi inko tune chuna muli ra Tangi wama jiko na Tong kipa nongku nek abog Just cranky the pets limo. Chi ita kanki chan la kilikon. Kinba muli rat wana ji. Kinba nok achua penki. Yun patisa. Di chuba ji kutka naga. Kinbu mwa muli rat wana. Tong hit wama aki inkotune. Or tong hit wama ji aki inkotun. Tong pa nokun nonek.
Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Kolto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kolto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kolto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith and our Kolto supply, but the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Oh, of course, of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. No, no. You do what I want and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Good. It's a logical place to start. But you should also hear about the other options available to you. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Good. It is a very intelligent and skilled individual who can crack the matrices of a Sith encryption system. But there is one last method you should know about in case all other options fail. The Sith have got the Selkath to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? You'll need luck for that one. 
Odds are they have some pretty strong guards in there, but it's also the way most likely to succeed. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Have you managed... So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? While the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion, we have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, you may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. <sighs> oh, what do you want? You're not. <laughs> you lies. You work for the Republic. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. But they... they wouldn't, would they? Ha! <laughs> Worth my while. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. Please, please don't hurt me. Or, what do you want? Or... What companion? The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. Uh, no, never. Damn, he blanked out. Uh. Oh. The Sith prepared. Tila? How did you find out about her? Damn! Damn! There's nothing. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easy. All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. 
What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... it's Zeta 2456980 Alpha. Just no more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just don't delay too long or they might learn that he's been captured. This street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Hiding behind the Selkirk laws. Typical Republic cowardice. 